What's up everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video on Lex Alexis. Today it is the score predictions in the championship for match day nine. This is going to be once again another intriguing weekend of championship football. Always my favourite time of the week. Before we start, this is what the Lex Alexis Football Prediction League in the championship is currently looking like. I've jumped back up to second. Close behind Wallace and Gromit fan. He's still leading the way. Charlie's closed the gap. Tom is right up there too. It's a really, really tight and competitive competition. And you guys can all enter this competition for free. All you've got to do is enter your score predictions in the comments down below. They will be calculated and one point will be if you get the correct outcome, but three correct points if you get the correct score entirely. If you guys like what you see, please give the video a like and just try to see up the channel. Please do hit that subscribe button as we're trying to push to 2,000 subscribers, which would be a brilliant achievement for this channel if we can get there. And please also share the channel too. That really helps too. But without any further ado, let's start predicting these championship weekend games. predicting what I think will be the biggest game of the championship this weekend. Burnley going up against Norwich. Two recently relegated teams for the Premier League playing up against each other and both have somehow recovered from what both look to have a pretty um, poor start to the season. Norwich have lost two games but since then they've actually been winning every single game since their last defeat. As with Burnley they lost their last game against Watford, but since then they've been unbeaten for that entire get time. So both Norwich and Burnley are unbeaten in their last five. The difference is, is that Norwich have picked up five wins, whereas Burnley have only picked up two. So it's clear that Burnley are still trying to find their consistent groove, but they are proving to be a very difficult team to beat now. And the longer they do that, you know, the more they will start to reap their rewards going into this season. I think it'll be competitive. I think both times when they played against each other in the Premier League, it was always very, very competitive. There was a nil-nil draw at Turf Moor in the Premier League last year, but Norwich got the better of them at Carrow Road. So Norwich doing slightly better in terms of a head-to-head -head record in their recent history. But as a prediction here, I have this feeling that, you know, despite Norwich winning all those games in a row, Burnley have already drawn half of their games this season. So Burnley having an issue of drawing too many games. And this may be another example. I think Turf Moor will give them a bit of advantage over Norwich. But I think Norwich will still find a way to get something. So I'm going to go safe and go for a 1-1 draw to predict this game so far. So I'm going for a 1-1 draw. Let me know what you think of that in the comments down below. Now we've got 11 games taking place at Saturday 3 o'clock. The 3 p.m. kickoff times are going to be an absolute carnage. Let's start off with Birmingham versus Swansea first. And both teams will be ecstatic because both teams were really struggling with form, but both picked up a win in their last game and a crucial one for them for what it seemed as well for both of their managers being under pressure. Swansea were winless in their last five, but they managed to pick up their last win against QPR, a 1-0 win it was, and could have been by more had Joel Pira not missed his first penalty instance. For Birmingham, they picked up their first away win of the season and scoring their first goal away from home as well with a 1-0 away victory against Preston North End, the only team to beat Preston so far this season, Birmingham. It was a really, really nice goal as well by Max and Cole and that Jordan Graham assist. Chef's kiss worthy. It was absolutely brilliant. Now, with this game, however, I see Birmingham having a slightly up hand because Despite Birmingham, you know, still being around in the bottom four of the championship, their home record is pretty good, I dare say. So with their home record so far this season, they've managed to sneak one win there, one draw, and then they lost their last two. Swansea away from home, I am not really too sure about them so far this season. Swansea are actually mid-table uh, when it comes to mid-table form um, in the yeah, away form there, but... They have managed to only sneak one win into there, which was that narrow 1-0 victory they had against Blackpool um, quite recently there. As a prediction for this game, I've just got a very sneaky suspicion that Birmingham might sneak a win here. 
something tells me with their home crowd, their home form, they might feel a bit of an uplift in, in that game as well. And I think the signings that Birmingham made, the impacts of the two Man United guys in Maybury and Chong, I think could be a difference for Birmingham and could give them some positive form now. As a prediction, I'm going to go for a 2-1 home victory to Birmingham, but definitely noting down that Swansea are capable of gaining something here. I'll go 2-1 Birmingham. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Next game to predict is Blackpool going up against Middlesbrough. Now, Middlesbrough definitely had a bit of a sigh of relief when they picked up only their second win of the season. It's shocking that the team, like Middlesbrough, performing as well as they are, have only picked up two wins so far this season. They face a Blackpool team where they themselves have won more games. They've won three games so far this season compared to Middlesbrough's two games that they've won. And both have lost three games as well. So... They're not, you know, far apart on the table. There's only two points that separate the two teams. So if Middlesbrough win, for instance, they can overtake Blackpool. And, you know, it just goes to show how congested that part of the table is right at the start of the season. Blackpool at home, I've not been liking. They've only got one home win so far this season, which was their opening home day victory against Reading. But since then, they've not been able to win at home so far this season. Middlesbrough away from home, they've not won away from home either. So both these teams not doing too well in their grounds there. But for some reason, based on what I've seen with um, performances from both teams, I felt Blackpool were a bit fortunate to get a 1-0 win over Huddersfield over the Hawkeye situation. Middlesbrough, I feel like they deserved their win against Sunderland. And I think they'll continue into this game. I think Middlesbrough will start turning the screw this season. But I could easily be wrong. Blackpool are more than capable of getting a result. As a prediction, I'm going to go for 2-1 again. 2-1 away victory this time to Middlesbrough, which will definitely help their position in the table. So I'm going to go 2-1 Middlesbrough. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Next game to predict is Bristol City versus Preston. So Bristol City being one of the very few surprise teams so far this season. They're currently fourth place in the championship right now, unbeaten in their last five matches too. And this is definitely, I think, Definitely giving them a good sense of optimism and confidence going into this season. They face a Preston team where they don't typically have a good record against Preston. But despite Preston feeling like an unstoppable force, they finally conceded their first goal of the season, which was, you know, that wonder goal I talked about by Colan with the exquisite pass by Graham there. Bristol City with their home record, they've done really well. They've won three home games in a row, both with a 2-0 victory scoreline. For the fact that Preston have only conceded one goal in eight, I don't think Bristol City actually are going to score more than one goal. But I think based on the current starts of um, both teams this season, I have more confidence Bristol City might nick something here. As a prediction, I'm going to risk you know, Preston conceding another goal. I can't believe it. But I'm going to go for a narrow 1-0 win to Bristol City. Something tells me that they're going to go through a really good streak of form. I know we think of streaky Bristol City. And I think the streak will continue. But I don't see any evidence of it slowing down. I'll go 1-0 Bristol City. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Next game to predict is Cardiff versus Hull. Now, I'm feeling a little bit less excited about this game. Cardiff really need to try and recover for what seemed to be a pretty optimistic start they had to their season. They are now down in 22nd, albeit only on goal difference, but it is really not a good sign for them at all. They've only scored four goals in their opening eight games, which is averaging only one goal every two games, which has definitely been their biggest issue so far this season. They face a whole side where they have conceded um, a lot of goals. I'll tell you that. In fact, no team has conceded more goals this season than Hull City with 15 goals that they've conceded so far this season. But with a team like Cardiff that don't score many, I just have a really sneaky feeling that both of these teams will cancel each other out, but in a negative way. So I'm actually going to strangely predict a nil-nil draw. You may think I'm absolutely crazy, but hear me out. I think the Hull's poor away form, I think they'll... Huff and puff, but not get anything out. And I think with Cardiff, I think they will want to try and dictate play a little bit more. But I think both these teams right now are going through odd patches of form. You know, Hull had a pretty poor defeat um, against Sheffield United, their first home defeat of the season as well. 
So I think both these teams will just, you know, be like a game that will just tick off and they'll move on to the next one. I'm going to go for a nil-nil draw. So something tells me that that's what's going to happen, but I could easily be wrong. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Next game to predict is Coventry versus West Brom. When is Coventry's first win of the season going to take place? Because they're the only team now in the championship waiting for their first win of the season. But however, it's only their second game at home this season as well. They face a West Brom team, but they only won one game so far this season in their opening eight games. But they've drawn six out of those eight. They have been the ultimate draw merchants of this um, season so far. And their last game proved it um, when they managed to sneak in a last minute draw against Burnley as well. You know, they really had to work for it as well. Going into this game where I think Coventry will really, really try and get something there. They really struggled against West Brom last time, Coventry last season, I think. West Brom managed to pick up at least four points. If anything, they may have done the double over Coventry as well. I knew they definitely lost in their home game. It was a narrow 2-1 defeat for them in that part there. But I think going into this game, Coventry, I need to see a reaction. I've not seen too many signs that they're going to get their first win anytime soon. But this is the perfect time for them to do it against a West Brom team that can't win many games right now, despite playing relatively well. So... As a prediction, for the fact that West Brom have actually not won away from home yet, I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw again. I'm going to predict another draw for the draw kings in West Brom. Let me know what you think of that prediction in the comments down below. And Coventry will be ecstatic because it's another point on the board. Next game to predict is QPR versus Huddersfield. These are two teams where I, I felt that they were going to be roughly similar places in the table. But it's turned out not to be that way at all. QPR... Looking all right with their form, but they did lose um, very recently in their last game against Swansea City. Just felt like a really off day for QPR. They did have plenty of chances in that game, but it's just gone to show that QPR can be vulnerable at times, especially um, not necessarily with the counter attack, but they can definitely be exposed defensively. So they definitely need to rely on their clinical players. And if they're not on it, then I do think QPR do fall short a bit. Huddersfield, however, they've got a lot to be improved. To be fair, they scored way more goals than all of the other two teams in the bottom three. So I don't think goal scoring has been much of the problem. What's been a problem is the amount of goals they've conceded. Likewise with Coventry and likewise with so many teams. They've conceded a joint um, third most goals in the league with 11 goals conceded. Only Middlesbrough and Hull City have conceded more goals than Huddersfield so far. So it's been a defence that's really let them down so far. And with the attacking players that um, QPR do have and when they're fit, I do fear for that back line a little bit from Huddersfield Town there. As a prediction, I'm going to go for a 3-1 victory to QPR. I think they'll respond very, very well to their poor defeat they had against Swansea. I think at home, QPR have developed a little bit more consistency there. So I'm going to go for a 3-1 victory. For QPR, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Next game to predict is Sheffield United versus Rotherham, a Yorkshire derby. But Sheffield United at home are looking unstoppable. They've won four, all four of their home games in a row. And they've only conceded one away goal so far this season, which was against Sunderland, which I actually watched live as well. They face a Rotherham team, which I think Rotherham have proved a lot of people wrong and have proven to be a little bit more competitive, but the cracks for me were starting to show when they lost 3-0 to Sunderland away from home. And if they're going to have a similar setup against the Sheffield United team, you know, Sheffield United have already been really, really ruthless to a lot of these teams. You know, they're not first place in the championship for some um, you know, reason other than they're just smashing teams left right and centre. 4-0. They beat Reading at home. I tell you what, the Sheffield United are going to need some doing to stop so far this season. And whilst maybe at the start of the season I could have given Rotherham a chance, I think now that Sheffield United have gone into their groove, they've not lost anyone major in the transfer window, I think Sheffield United are going to cruise this. So as a prediction, I'm going to go for a 3-0 win to Sheffield United. But I would be very happy for Rotherham just to get something there because it'll make, you know, the... Promotion race, really, really interesting right now, especially if Sheffield United do draw some points. Next game to predict is Stoke versus Luton Town. I'm very intrigued by this one right now. So 
it's going to be Nathan Jones, of course, facing his former managed club there. What I've seen with Stoke, they need to really respond. If they do not respond with at least an 8 out of 10 performance for Alex Neal, especially at home against a Luton Town team that are right down there, actually, in the table this year. They're down in 18th place with only two wins in their opening eight games. I tell you what, Luton are there for the taking and Stoke can even overtake Luton with a positive result there. You know, they're only one point um, separating um, both of these teams, actually. But... It was a very concerning performance, I felt, against Reading. You know, whilst they narrowly lost 2-1, I didn't really see a lot at all, if anything, um, to trouble Reading there. And I've got to say, Luton Town will punish you if you don't give it your all. And as a prediction, I'm going to say that both teams will cancel each other out. I think both teams are still not quite reaching their full potential yet. I think especially with Stoke that they need to gel with the new manager. Luton in general have been a little bit off the pace this season, um, so far at least. As a prediction, therefore, I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. Let me know, guys, what you think of that prediction in the comments down below. Next game to predict is Sunderland versus Mill. Now, I actually struggled predicting this game. I think this game is actually really difficult. It's much more difficult to predict Sunderland now, especially with a new manager as well in Tony Mowbray. Yes, I think he'll get Sunderland into some championship safety, but is it going to be as you know fluid? Is it going to be as exciting as it was with Alex Neal in charge? I don't think so, personally. But Millwall so far this season, I've really not been liking what they've been doing on the road as well. The same problems that they were having last year with their really bad array record are creeping up to them once again for this season as well. Only one away point picked up for Mills so far this season. And, you know, you can say the direct contrast when it comes to Sunderland at home. Yes, they actually previously struggled, actually, it seemed like, and they picked up more points at home. But they did start to recover their form a little bit. You know, they've only had one defeat at home this season as well. So... I definitely think it's going to be very tricky for this middle team to get something from this game. As a prediction, I'm going to go for a narrow Sunderland win. I'm going to go 2-1 Sunderland based on the squad that they've got and the momentum I think they have. I think you, despite losing against Middlesbrough, and I think they deserve to lose, it wasn't like that they were completely awful. They were very organised and actually made the game relatively close as well. So I do think Sunderland will continue being competitive. Millwall, I'm still yet to decide how I feel about the season. So I'm going to go 2 on Sunderland. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Next game to predict is Watford versus Reading. Bizarrely enough, this will be considered as a top of the table clash as it's two teams in the top six and both could really close the gap and be within the top two with a good result between each and one of them there. We were saying about this with Reading last week against Sheffield United being a top of the table clash. So it's crazy to associate Reading with those games so far. But Reading deserve a lot of credit. Five wins they got this season and four of those wins have been in their home games. I was speaking, you know, at the start of the season that Reading needed, needed to really use their home form. And lo and behold, they are the only team alongside with Sheffield United to have a 100% home record so far this season. So I'm really proud of them for that. They face a Watford team where I do think that they definitely had one of the most inconvenient um, transfer windows in terms of players leaving. But I definitely think they're now starting to settle a little bit. And I think just given a little bit of time, I do think they will start to get their groove again. I've seen some more positives than bad things when I've seen Rob Edwards in charge of Watford so far. I really like what he's doing there. They drew their last game against Rotherham where... They did fall behind very, very quickly in that game, but they did manage to recover quite well and they would wonder how they didn't win that one. But they've now got a great chance against a Reading team. But the fact that Reading have done really, really well at home, their waveform doesn't speak the same story. They've only won one away game out of their four so far this season, where Watford at home have been all right. They've only lost one home game so far this season, which was actually their only defeat of the season, which was against QPR. As a prediction, therefore, I do think because Reading are a little bit more exposed away from home, I think they may not win this one. But I am backing Watford to get a win here. I'm going to go 2-1 Watford. I think it's going to be really, really close, actually, in this game. So definitely not writing Reading off just yet. I'm going to go 2-1 Watford. 
Let me know what you think of that in the comments down below. Last game, guys, to predict is Wigan versus Blackburn. So technically a Lancashire derby in some cases there. Wigan have done all right, actually, in their start of the season so far. I think that win against Luton Town has definitely made things look a little bit more rosy. They're a team for me that didn't look like that they scored many goals. I mean, they've only scored seven goals so far this season, which is averaging under a goal a game so far. This Blackburn team, they are currently in seventh place. They're right up there because of their great start to the season. But it's four defeats in Blackburn in their last five. And they're definitely, for me, starting to have a little bit of a softer underbelly. And I definitely think when they go behind, I'm struggling to see this Blackburn team rally forward and to have the same amount of confidence and determination anymore. I do think they are a little bit more vulnerable now. They've lost that, you know, intimidation about them. You know, I've, I felt it when West Brom played against Blackburn. But unfortunately now... I felt Blackburn have now gone a little bit exposed and they need to try and fight this momentum back on. Wigan at home have not quite impressed me so far. Both of Wigan's wins so far this season have actually been from away games so far. And Blackburn have been all right away from home, but definitely not as good as home. So I think both teams in their own right not doing as well. You know, with Wigan not doing so well at home and Blackburn not doing well away from home. So as a result, what I'll do, I'll cancel it out and I'll go for a draw. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw in this game between these two sides in the Lancashire Derby. I think it's going to be a really, really tight game. But I'm going to go for a draw. I was very close to predicting a win, win. But let me know, guys, what you think in the comments down below. So, guys, these are my predictions for the Championship Match Day 9 for this weekend. Remember, guys, you can always get involved by commenting your predictions in the comments down below. Tomorrow, I will be streaming a watch along for Burnley versus Knights. So, do make sure, guys, you managed to make yourselves available and you are able to see that but that is all i need to announce for today stay tuned for tomorrow when i do my premier league predictions but that'll wrap it up thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed please give the video a like it really does help us aim for 20 likes today that'd be terrifically appreciative please do hit the subscribe button if you're not done so we're trying to hit 2,000 subscribers that would be an amazing achievement and please also share the channel too all of that helps too but that wraps it up thank you guys so much for watching you guys are legendary if you saw the end of this video and as always i'll see you guys soon Take care, everyone.